Giant Cell Tumor of Bone Diagnosis and Treatment Introduction Definition 1 Giant Cell Tumors GCT, of bone, also known as osteoclastomas, are relatively common bone tumors, usually benign, that typically arise from the metaphysis of long bones and extend into the epiphysis. Definition 2 a benign aggressive tumor typically found in the metaphysis of long bones. Definition 3. Giant cell tumors, GCT, are benign tumors with potential for aggressive behavior and capacity to metastasize. Although rarely lethal, benign bone tumors may be associated with a substantial disturbance of the local bony architecture that can be particularly troublesome in periarticular locations. Its histogenesis remains unclear. It is characterized by a proliferation of mononuclear stromal cells and the presence of many multinucleated giant cells with homogeneous distribution. Epidemiology There is overall a mild female predilection, especially when located in the spine. However, malignant transformation is far more common in men. MF of 3 to 1. More common in females, unlike most bone tumors which show male predominance, ages 30 to 50 years. Location. Distal femur greater than proximal tibia greater than distal radius greater than sacral Alabama. 50% occur around knee, distal femur or proximal tibia. 10% in sacrum and vertebrae, sacral ala is most common site in axial skeleton. In the mobile spine, it usually occurs in the vertebral body. Distal radius is third most common location. Phalanges of the hand is also a very common location. May arise in the apophysis, like chondroblastoma. Transition to malignancy. Primary malignant giant cell tumor. Metastatic to lung in 2 to 5%. Hand lesions have greater chance of metastasis. Secondary malignant giant cell tumor occurs following radiation or multiple resections of giant cell tumor. Symptoms and physical exam. Symptoms. Pain referable to involved joint. Physical exam. Palpable mass. Decreased range of motion around affected joint. The presentation is not specific, typically presents insidiously and relates to bone pain, soft tissue mass, compression of adjacent structures or acutely with a pathological fracture. Imaging. Radiographs, point of view 1. Classic appearance. There are four characteristic radiographic features when a GCT is located in a long bone, occurs only with a closed growth plate. A butt's articular surface, 84 to 99% come within 1 cm of the articular surface. Well defined with non-sclerotic margin, though less than 5% may show some sclerosis. Eccentric, if large this may be difficult to assess. General radiographic features include Narrow zone of transition, a broader zone of transition is seen in more aggressive GCTs. No surrounding sclerosis, 80-85%. Overlying cortex is thinned, expanded or deficient. Periosteal reaction is only seen in 10-30% to of cases. Soft tissue mass is not infrequent. Pathological fracture may be present. No matrix calcification slash mineralization. Eccentric lytic epiphyseal slash metaphyseal lesion that oft extends into the distal epiphysis and borders, subchondral bone. Neocortex is characteristic of benign aggressive lesions, and not unique to GCT. Bone scan? It resembles as a hot lesion. On bone scintigraphy, most GCT demonstrate increased uptake on delayed images, 
especially around the periphery, with a central photopenic region, donut sign. Increased blood pool activity is also seen, and can be seen in adjacent bones due to generalized regional hyperemia, contiguous bone activity. MRI. It shows clear demarcation on T1 image between fatty marrow and tumor. MRI features. Typical signal characteristics include T1. Low to intermediate solid component. Low signal periphery. Solid components enhance, helping distinguish GCT with an anismal bone cyst, ABC, from a pure ABC. Some enhancement may also be seen in adjacent bone marrow. MRI features. T2. Heterogeneous high signal with areas of low signal intensity, variable, due to hemosiderin or fibrosis. If an anismal bone cyst component present, then fluid fluid levels can be seen. High signal in adjacent bone marrow thought to represent inflammatory edema. T1C plus, GD, solid components will enhance, helping differentiate from anismal bone cysts. Histology. Microscopically they are characterized by prominent and diffuse osteoclastic giant cells and mononuclear cells, round, oval, or polygonal and may resemble normal histocytes. Its histogenesis remains unclear. It is characterized by a proliferation of mononuclear stromal cells and the presence of many multinucleated giant cells with homogeneous distribution. Differential diagnosis. There is a relatively wide differential similar to that of a lytic bone lesion, chondroblastoma, epiphyseal, usually in skeletally immature patients. Chondromyxoid fibroma, metaphyseal, with a well-defined sclerotic margin, multiloculated bubbly appearance. Anismal bone cyst, ABC, younger age group, but may coexist with GCT, fluid fluid levels. Non-ossifying fibroma, usually younger age group. Brown tumor, in the setting of hyperparathyroidism. Enchondroma, only really a consideration in lesions of small bones of the hand and foot. Differential diagnosis. Carefully examine the sample radiographs. Diagnosis. Carefully examine the sample radiographs. Ankle radiograph shows an example of non-osfying fibroma case. Shoulder radiograph shows an example of primary hyperparathyroidism with brown tumor. Differential diagnosis. Hemophilic pseudotumor. Metastases and multiple myeloma. Enterosseous ganglion cysts. Desmoplastic fibroma. Metaphysial fibrous defects. Treatment conservative. Non-operative. Radiation alone. Indications, only indicated for inoperable or multiply recurrent lesions. Outcomes. Leads to 15% malignant transformation. Medical management. Indications, Medical therapy can be used to augment or replace surgical management depending on the specific clinical scenario. Medications. Bisphosphonates. Treatment conservative. Bisphosphonates. Osteoclast inhibitors which may decrease the size of the defect in giant cell tumors. Donosumab. Monoclonal antibody against rank ligand. Recent clinical trials suggest donosumab can decrease the size of the bone defect in giant cell tumor. 90% tumor necrosis shows dramatic sclerosis and reconstitution of cortical bone after treatment. Operative treatment. Extensive curatage and reconstruction with adjuvant treatment. Indications. 
Lesions amenable to carotage. Hand lesion treatment is controversial. If no cortical breakthrough treat with curettage and cementing. If significant cortical breakthrough consider intercalary resection, with free fibula graft, versus amputation. Technique. Challenge of treatment is to remove lesion while preserving joint and providing support to subchondral joint. Extensive exterioration, removal of a large cortical window over the lesion, is required. Can fill lesion with bone cement or autograft slash allograft bone. Operative treatment. Outcomes. 10 to 30% recurrence with curatage alone versus 3% with adjuvant treatment, phenol, hydrogen peroxide, argon beam, etc. Amputation. Indications. Hand lesions with cortical breakthrough who are not amendable to intercalary resection. Treatment, according to Soptia et al. There is no widely held consensus regarding the ideal treatment method selection. There are advocates of varying surgical techniques ranging from intralesional curatage to wide resection. As most giant cell tumors are benign and are located near a joint in young adults, several authors favor an intralesional approach that preserves anatomy of bone in lieu of resection. Although GCT is classified as a benign lesion, Few patients develop progressive lung metastases with poor outcomes. Treatment is mainly surgical. Options of chemotherapy and radiotherapy are reserved for selected cases. Recent advances in the understanding of pathogenesis are essential to develop new treatments for this locally destructive primary bone tumor. Implications Malignant transformation Less than 1% prevalence to high-grade sarcoma, poor prognosis. Latency. 9 years for previous radiation treatment. 19 years for spontaneous transformation. Secondary ABC, less than or equal to 14% differentiate from primary ABC because of enhancing soft tissue component in GCT, not present in primary ABC. Recurrence, 15-25%. Lucency at bone cement interface. Diagnose with CT guided biopsy. Complications. Pathologic fracture. Poor outcome. Postoperative infection pathologic fracture. Increased risk with on block resection plus endoprosthesis. Thanks for watching my video. Please do not forget to subscribe to my non-profit education channel.